Roger Federer makes history as the highest paid athlete in the world. Fanless tournaments? Good idea or not? And the tennis world responds to protests following the death of George Floyd. See how the pros are reacting. The break starts now. Hey there, and welcome to Tennis Channel's The Break, where we're delivering you the most buzzworthy stories from off the court. I'm your host, Johnny Ray Diaz. You can probably tell I'm not at the uh, Tennis Channel studios. That's because, like many of you, I'm in quarantine. But don't you worry. I'm still here to bring you the biggest stories in tennis. So, let's get to it. Roger Federer has made history in almost every category during his career. So when Forbes released the highest paid athletes of 2020, we weren't too shocked to see the maestro sitting at number one. His 106.3 million in prize money and endorsements meant that Roger became the first ever tennis player to top the list. Now one big reason Federer took the top spot is a $300 million 10 year contract with Uniqlo, which he signed in 2018. Roger Federer, king of the money game. As Twitter feeds, newsrooms, and TV screens were filled with news of protests following the death of George Floyd, top names from the world of tennis joined in on the conversation, including American tennis pro Francis Tiafo. Watch. Hi guys, I hope everyone's doing well during this crazy time. I and I thought they would reach out and express our feelings for what is and for what has been going on here in America. We wanted to do a small gesture to spread awareness about the unjust deaths of many African Americans here in this country. Today, we put our rackets down and our hands up. Now, Francis joined Coco Goff, Serena Williams, Felix, OJ, Ali Asim, and countless other tennis players in speaking out against racial injustice. The hashtag Tennis for Equality was used to rally the world of tennis together to educate, speak out, and incite action. The sports world is slowly reopening, but it may have to do so without fans, at least for the time being. Time for a hot take. The ATP and WTA tours are shut down through July, but World Team Tennis announced a one-site season in West Virginia that will be played in front of 500 fans. The question remains, should majors be held in empty stadiums without fans? While that may be the safest solution, some players aren't too happy with the idea, including Roger Federer and Petra Kvitova. Now, Roger commented, I really hope that the circuit can return as it normally is, and it will hold off till the time is appropriate, minimum a third of the stadium or half full. But for me, completely empty when playing big tournaments is very difficult. So we want to hear from you. Should the tour resume without fans? Or are fans necessary to the return of live tennis? Let us know below. I think we can all agree that 2020 hasn't turned out how most of us had planned. If you're feeling anxious, this next segment might turn your day around. Let's jump into hashtag tennis at home. Records are meant to be broken and only the most elite among us can say loud and proud that they hold a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, tennis players, bow down to your new supreme. Finley Malloy, a six-year-old golden retriever from New York, has become a world record holder by fitting six tennis balls in his mouth at once. After over a year of submitting evidence, the Malloy family received an email from Guinness World Records stating that Finley had sealed his spot in history. Now that is a very good boy. Almost as good as this boy, Charlie. The Charlie here holds the record for cutest dog ever. I think it's safe to say he gets from Zed. That does it for the break. Stay tuned using hashtag the break TC to join in on the conversation and learn more about what your favorite players and personalities are doing off the court because you know there's more to tennis than just tennis, like dogs. I'll see you guys next time.